Good evening, everybody. I'm going to start again this week facing my desk so that there is no way the zooming gets messed up, <laughs> as I've been having trouble with that a few times lately. Let me just adjust so I'm a little bit straighter. There we go. All right, so hope you all had a very nice weekend. Um, us here in the filter house had a birthday, the eldest son turned 24, which I can hardly even wrap my brain around, um, cause there's no way I'm that old, right? <laughs> um, so we celebrated a birthday, spent some time in our, at our lake home, enjoying the very hot weather. But, um, I guess when you were boating, the breeze felt really, really nice. So that was a good thing. <laughs> so again, I hope you guys all had a really great weekend. Um, so just to refresh your memory, here is what you're supposed to have ready for tonight. We are on episode 15, if you can believe that already. You need to have a card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. You want some neutral cardstock, which usually I'm referring to either white or vanilla, um, a four by five and a quarter piece, and approximately a two inch, I'm gonna say circle, and then I'm gonna show you some other options for shapes that would fit in that space too. Then two DSPs, they're both gonna be used um, vertically, and you want them to coordinate. The first one, you want a piece that's one and three eighths by two and a quarter, and another piece that's two and a quarter by two and five eighths. And then your second one, you want a piece that's one and three quarter by two and five eighths, and a two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And then you need some images or phrases that are gonna fit your two inch circle shape of your neutral. And then obviously ink pad that coordinates with um, what you're doing. So I'm gonna be using tonight um, Calypso Coral as my card base. My neutral is vanilla. And then for the designer series papers, I have um, Pansy Petals. I have two different pieces from Pansy Petals. Um, so here's the back side of that one. It's that cute little um, lavender gingham. And this one had some really large pansies on it. And this is the one that if you have that, hi, Kathy Jell, um, the dyes will cut out um, these pan those pansies right from the DSP, which is kind of fun. All right, so let's get started. So first grab your neutral circle and go ahead and do whatever stamping on that that you like. I'm gonna take a phrase um, from Color and Contour. I think I've shown you guys this one a couple of times. Um, I really love the font combinations in this one. It's kind of my go-to um, lately, these two especially, the So Very Happy For You and Thanks For Everything. Um, I just love the way that those are put together. And so color and contour, um, I think I forgot to write down what page that's on, sorry. I'll find that later and add it into the post. Um, I'm gonna use Calypso Coral Ink and I'm just gonna stamp my phrase, thank you for everything. So you guys go ahead, gather your stamps. Um, what are you, if you're using images and phrases, whatever you're doing, go ahead and put them on there and have that all ready to go and just set aside. All right, give you guys a second to do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just score, or I should say crease, because I've already scored my card base. Oh, I forgot to bring my bone folder over again. There's always one element that I forget to have right handy. All right, if you guys have watched enough of these with me, you know that already. <laughs> All right. Hi, Joyce. Good to see you. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Hope everything is well up in Minnesota. I know it's been really hot down here. Uh, I don't know if you guys got that hot, hot weather too, but I'm about, you know, it's funny. It's only been like a week and I'm already over it. <laughs> I'm really comfortable in like the seventies or something like, but that's always good for me. All right. So you've got your card base all scored and folded. Take your neutral piece of paper and you're going to go vertically with that. Now you're going to have two pieces that are one and three eighths wide, one's a little longer, and you're gonna have two pieces that are two and a quarter wide, and again, one's a little longer. So as you can see, this is kind of how it's going to go together. All right, so you're gonna take your adhesive, and you're gonna, so basically these are gonna end up in opposite corners on your base here. All right, so I'm gonna take my first piece, which my tape is sticking to, there we go, up to the top corner, leaving about an average border, okay? And then you're gonna do the other piece below. And so those are both the pieces that are the one and three eighths widths. You should have one for each of your patterns. Whoop. All right, so there is that. And then as you probably guessed, these are gonna go opposites 
on the other side. So here's your two and a quarter square, and that should match the DSP that was in your bottom left corner. And again, leave a border that's kind of even all the way around. So you should have about the same amount of space between each of the pieces as you do around the edges. All right, and then go ahead and take your last piece. And that is gonna go right down in there. All right, like so. All right, so now you have your four quadrants and there are um, a couple different sizes. This is another one you could do with, if you could figure out the measurements, maybe I'll do that sometime where they're even, like they're each squares or the right same, same size, size of rectangle. I got this layout, um, I believe I saw a layout like this on Pinterest and I'm gonna link the inspiration piece that you guys have seen where I got that from. And so I took the measurements off of the one I saw and thought it was kind of a fun um, to not have it so matchy matchy. I'm usually more of a like, my OCD says everything should be the same, <laughs> but I'm letting that go on this one. <laughs> All right, once you have those four rectangles on your neutral piece, that's gonna get added to your card front. And again, mine's Calypso Coral and I used designer series paper from the Pansy Petals designer series paper, which is on page 132 of the current annual catalog. All right, so shoot, shoot me out some thumbs ups or something and tell me you guys are about the same place I am. Um, hopefully that is true. Like I said, I like to keep these pretty simple so that they're quick to put together and they give you lots of ideas for um, future card making for you guys. You can take these you know, phrase, um, sizes, turn them into other things that you need. All right, then you're gonna take that circle and if you want to, pop it up on dimensionals. Um, that's of course your choice. Um, sometimes I know for mailing purposes, um, some of you like to keep them a little flatter and that's totally cool. So then you would just have some regular adhesive on the back. And we're gonna put this circle right at the juncture of where all of those four points come together. So it's just gonna pop on like so. And there you go. That is, <laughs> all right, Carol, good job, thumbs up. <laughs> um, so that is exactly uh, the base of everything that I gave you for cutting out tonight. If you have some extra um, embellishments around, if you add, wanted to add ribbon or twine or bling or something like that, go ahead and add them wherever that's appropriate for you. I'm gonna show you some that I've done as well. Um, where I step them up just a little bit. Okay, so there's our basic one for tonight. This one here is my stepped up version, different designer series papers. Um, this is, oops, let me take my cheat note off of it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this one is done with um, color and top contour again. I used the other phrase that I really like lately, the so very happy for you, but I also grabbed the little splotchy stamp. <laughs> um, because if you look in my designer series paper, there's little splotchy blue stuff behind there in the background. So I added it to the background of that as well, just to kind of pull those pieces together. Um, this paper comes from Beauty of the Earth. It's on page 130. Um, there's beautiful patterns in there. Um, and I wanted this one to really pop off. So I made sure that these were very different um, contrasting designer series paper. So you really see that beautiful pattern in there. Um, and then I added some navy blue, or Knight of Navy rhinestones from the Holiday Rhinestones. So I added those there. I also added a second layer to my circle image and I added a second layer to this background piece. So the white, the neutral piece is still four by five and a quarter. I just cut this down by an eighth of an inch then to have the navy be behind those panels right there. So I was pulling those colors out of that designer series paper. It's got navy and midnight, misty moonlight I should say. Um, and then, um, oh dear, evergreen and mossy meadow, I believe is what that is. All right, so there's, like I said, that's our basic one that we did tonight. And then this is just a little bit stepped up. And as you probably been telling, if you can tell if you've watched a few of these with me now, stepped up for me usually just means I've added some layers, I've added some extra bling, um, maybe a little bit more texture somehow. My texture this time is from the stamp, sometimes it's embossing folders stuff like that, just something to take it up a little bit of a notch. All right, so there's those two. Now, as I talked to you before, we used a circle here. You can feel free to use any kind of shape you want. So um, I used here, I used another rectangle. Oh, this is gonna be really shiny, sorry guys. Um, all right, this paper is um, Simply Elegant, and one 
side of each of the sheets in this DSP has a metallic finish to it. So there's copper, silver, and gold throughout the patterns. I used another piece from this last week in the um, on our Make It With Me Monday. Then I grabbed some copper foil and I embossed it with the hammered metal fold, embossing folder. So I wanted to show you guys, it doesn't have to necessarily be two um, patterns of designer series paper. Grab cardstock, grab foil, anything else that will complement what you're choosing for the other piece. So uh, again, it doesn't have to be two pieces of designer series paper. Go with what you have to, like I said, to complement and bring out the parts in the other image. And I kept this as a rectangle um, because of the phrase I used, it says with deepest sympathy and it was from Peaceful Moments. And just the shape of that to me fit better into a rectangle shape than it would have like a circle. So I went ahead and that, and that is actually done with copper embossing powder on the black cardstock. Um, and then one thing I like to use is a little bit of a cheat if I'm only gonna be using a little bit of it like here. If you have silver, our smoky slate is a really nice option for pulling in some of that silver tone without being the metallic. Um, so that's on a smoky slate background. And then for this one, I actually cut out a piece, um, an image from a piece of designer series paper. So this is one of the plants that is on one of the pieces of, let me grab my cheat sheet again. There we go. Uh, bloom where you're planted. Um, there's some really beautiful big plant images on the designer series paper that are already great for you to just cut out and use. So that's exactly what I did there. Um, and I have this piece here is also from that same designer series paper. Um, it's, I think it's actually even the other side of the one that has the plants on it. Um, and instead of doing a phrase up in here, because my designer series paper was so light, I just stamped it directly on there. So this is um, Kate, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Cajun Craze um, designer series paper from the Regals pack. And then Cajun Craze, Cajun Craze ink, and then the base of that is white, all right? So again, um, some muted designer series paper to pop off that pretty piece right there. Here again, we're bringing in some bling with the foils and then of course you've got bling with your rhinestones so again this is the simplest version and it's absolutely beautiful just the way it is um, I think too the image of this goes um, if you wanted to flip that to a horizontal layout still absolutely works um, whether you want to flip it that way or that way I think that's a cook's choice kind of a thing so again you can play with those layouts and shapes um, however works best for you and what you have um, all right, so thanks again for joining me tonight. I'll just bring these up again once more time. This is the one we created on camera tonight. Stepped up with a few layers and of course different designer series paper. Different shape in the middle. We have a rectangle instead of the circle and something completely different. We have the shape of the plants and we actually stamped on the designer series paper itself, which is always a fun twist to use. All right, everybody, that will wrap it up for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed that layout. Um, feel free to um, upload what you made onto the thread once this gets posted because I would love to see what you made with what you have. Have a great night. <laughs> it is very hot up there too, huh? Joy's bar. Um, yeah, we're supposed to still get that all this week too. Oof, I think that means a lot of... Uh, Nice air-conditioned studio time for me. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Glad you popped in at the end. And yep, I'll have it uploaded in just a few minutes, and you can watch um, the relay or the the relay, <laughs> the replay of that. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your evening, and I will see you again next Monday. Bye now.